Welcome to episode one of Going Green on NJN.net. In this episode, we're going to talk to David Grant from the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation and visit their green building in Marstown, New Jersey. It's still under construction, so we thought this would be the perfect time to find out what makes a building green. And maybe we can find out if going green really does make a difference. So David, what made the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation want to become involved in Going Green? Oh, Hillary, you know, I, I remember, I think it was eight or nine years ago, we were sitting around a table at our the office uh, on the outskirts of Morristown, and uh, something came up about your values and living your values, and we just looked around our space, and we said, does our space reflect <laughs> our values? And we it didn't. You know, it was a, just one of those old um, office buildings where the air was stale and the windows didn't open and the carpet probably had poison in it and so we just at that point we said let, let's uh, let's do something uh, not only kind of um, great great in the terms of um, you know a, a green building but something that could be uh, educational for organizations all over the state and so that, that's what brought us here so what are some of the main elements that make this building great well the main elements would be the bio wall over here on our left okay. uh, which is going to be a wall of plants and its purpose is to actually take the air from inside the office building and draw it in through a shaft and then it gets filtered through the HVAC system and the plants actually turn the bad air into oxygenated rooms instead of using fresh air from the outside. And these plants will actually take the air from inside the building and uh, clean the air and make it more put more oxygen within the offices for the people that will be in here. The solar panels on the roof of the garage, which are what they are, they take in electricity and give back to the office and the garage and um, assist in lowering energy consumption throughout the, throughout the building and the garage. These, these solar panels are going to supply electricity uh, to light the garage and the building. And usually with panels like this, we're talking about a 70% reduction in energy costs. And so one over thing, years, it's really add up. over the years, it's it's incredible. That's the thing about green building is that uh, it usually uh, co costs more up front to do things like this. But if you look at the total life costs, the life cycle cost of a building, it, there's a great financial case for going green. Recycled materials? Yes, there's lots of recycled materials in this office. Uh, in fact, it started from day one. There was an existing two-level parking garage here and an Epstein's building that sat over on the green. Those, when those buildings came down, we took all the concrete and ground it up into small pieces of stone. And those stone, that stone went into the backfill of the office building and the parking garage itself. And along with that, we used the timbers that were inside of that building and shipped them off to a, 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 a lumber yard. And they cut down those timbers and we're gonna put them inside the Dodge area as a feature wall. Uh, we've taken the trees and we're milling those down. The trees become millwork, and yeah, there's a lot of a lot of recycled materials. So, I read that one of the main elements is having some sort of a green feature with plants and water. Green. Oh, our green roof. We'll take a look. You can you can look right over here. It looks like a swimming pool. <laughs> the, this uh, this roof will start actually building the, the green part of the roof in another month or so. But the idea is that when this is done, uh, we'll be able to walk out on it and um, really feel like we're in a park. Now, what's it doing for the building? It's uh, collecting water. All this water that you're seeing down, pooled down there now, okay. and instead of just sitting there, it's going to go down. It'll be filtered through the, um, through the kind of pebbles under the, under the grass and the plants. And then it's going to go down the side of the building to a holding tank where the seeing eye is going to use the water to wash their dogs and their vans. So that, that's, <laughs> that's an example of the sort of, um, you know, thinking about the building as a whole system and not wasting anything. So what happens is that it, there's no stormwater runoff from this at least little part of the world. And then there's also the, um, the, the sort of insulating value up here on the roof and very little maintenance when you, when you choose the right plants. And, and also in a kind of an atmosphere where people want to be. You so know, you can sit up here. You're going to be able to come up here. You know, uh, people are going to constantly call my office and they're going to say David's on the roof because <laughs> uh, it's, it's just going to be so pleasant up here. And 
I've, I've always thought that's one of the uh, aspects of green building that I appreciate is that people feel good to be in them and on top of them. Um, it's a, an element of human health and well-being that I think is uh, at the center of the argument along with the environmental effects. The green building at Dodge is making fantastic progress in energy renewal. But NJN wants to know, who else in New Jersey is going green? We want you to share your story. Tell us about a green building in your area, or even make a webisode of your own. Send it to Going Green, and we'll put it on our website.